Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today I want to teach you guys how to go from zero to almost any amount of money that you want to grow to. So that's how to go from zero dollars to almost any amount of money that you want to grow to. Now, nobody, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, people telling you that you know they're going to change your life for the better. Nobody can change your life for the better. You have to be the one to change your life for the better. People can only inspire you, they can persuade you, or they can force you. But you have to be the one to change your life for the better. And I realized this about 25 years ago as a very young man when I was starting out in life. And what helped me to realize this is four books that I read. I read four books and those books, they changed my paradigm. They changed my thinking. They changed my attitude. They changed the way I felt about myself and about others and about ideas. And they made me a person of value. It made me a person of influence. And I never could have become what I am today if not that I read those books. And I'm going to tell you about those books. I'm going to give you some insights into those books. But those insights are not just going to be enough. You need to read those books by yourself. Now, the very first book that really helped me, it gave me a good work ethic, was the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Now, in that book, I learned seven habits. I'm going to read them out to you. The very first one is be proactive. Second one is begin with the end in mind. Third one is put first things first. Fourth one is seek first to understand and then to be understood. Fifth one is think win-win sixth one is synergize seventh one is sharpen your soul now you know when i read that book it just blew my mind it taught it just made me operate on a different level and my parents even saw it they said look when this young man you you are so different you know it was because of that book i schooled in england but all of that knowledge that i got in england did not help me as much as that book i remember once when i was working at silicon valley i had a colleague who was very petty and vindictive he's no longer that way he's actually grown and improved but at that time he was petty and vindictive and i had to say no to him on one occasion and i saw him he was going to get some juice and i knew what he was going to do with that juice he wanted to spill it in on me and to create a scene at the office so i would react and make me look bad he came over to me and then he spilled the juice on me just like i anticipated and i just smiled i said don't worry you made a mistake and the guy was shocked he was gobsmacked because he expected me to react but because I read that book, I don't react, I proact. I seize control from the world. I will not respond except it is in line with my own personal principles. And that's I got that from that book. Also, I got a lot of things from that book. You know, the next habit, you know, begin with the end in mind. I always begin anywhere I go to. I always say, okay, what do I want to achieve? And then I work towards that. And it wasn't until I went to Universal Studios that I found out that that's even how they shot movies. This, the, the very first scene in the movie to be shot is the end. So it helps them to walk their way to the end. So that really helped me, you know. And then the other, you know, uh, the other habits in the book, put first things first, it made me to always make sure that I am doing things in order of importance, not in order of urgency. So it really helped me. I remember President Jonathan of Nigeria, when I worked with him, he told me that, Reno, your ability to prioritize is just superior to anybody I've seen. And, you know, when he said that to me, I mean, I smiled because I learned that from that book. I learned that from that book. And the ability to prioritize, you know, it says that, you know, put first things first. So you never, ever do things that are urgent just because they are urgent. You do things because they are important. You put first things first. So it really helped me. And then another book that helped me, you know, seriously, another book that helped me is a book called Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. You know, that book was written by a guy called Dale Carnegie. And, you know, when you read that book, you know, it really helps you because it gives you an idea of how to create wealth. It talks about how to create a world consciousness. So if you are conscious of wealth, if you're conscious of success, you're going to attract it. If you are conscious of failure, you're going to attract failure. It also taught me, you know, that you should have, have write down indelibly in your mind and write it also in paper what you want to achieve, how much money you want to make. And then you read that aloud to yourself every day. And then you also have to ask yourself, what am I going to do? What am I willing to do for the world in exchange for this money that I'm going to get? So it gives you a sense of responsibility that money is not just something that comes. Money is something that comes as a result of providing value. And so that book really helped me a lot. You know, So I thought to myself, okay, how am I going to provide value? How am I going to provide value? And then I was able to provide value. I learned about that skill. And then also, you know, I learned also from that book that you need to write your desires down so you can read them regularly write your desires down so you can read them regularly otherwise you're going to forget them otherwise your ability your subconscious mind your subconscious mind's ability to be able to summon your desires into reality is going to be affected i learned that from that book it was such a powerful book 
And I encourage you guys, read that book. I also read another book. And this book helped me with interpersonal skills. It helped me with the ability to have a good attitude. And that's how to win friends and influence people. That's how to win friends and influence people. And when I read that book, you know, that book really helped me. Because it taught me how to think about other people unselfishly. How to praise other people. How to, you know, like when people, uh, they've made mistakes, you know, you just don't want to point out their mistakes directly. You try to do it indirectly. You try to understand people. You try to speak about things that people, you know, are interested in, not things that you are interested in. So it makes you unselfishly think about the best for the other person. And then you just find out that people begin to like you. And they don't even know why they like you. You, don't, you just find out that they're liking you because you learn to be warm. And the key to be warm is to be unselfish, to think about people, find out the kinds of things that interest them so that you can talk about it. Find out how to be of value to them. Find out how to approach them on their mistakes without doing it in a way that attacks their ego. And that book really helped me. It really helped me. I also read another book, you know, by Norman Vincent Poole. Norman Vincent Poole, you know, The Power of Positive Thinking. The Power of Positive Thinking. And that book really helped me. You know, it helped me because a lot of times, thoughts would just enter into my mind, negative thoughts. At that time, when I was about 24, I used to listen to myself a lot. And then later on, I learned this habit of which I came up with, with it myself, that you no, know, I don't listen to myself, I talk to myself. But before I got, came up with that habit, that book really taught me a lot, that once a negative thought comes into your mind, you immediately replace it with a positive thought. Immediately. Don't wait. Immediately replace it with a, with a positive thought. And then it, it, it taught me how to think very positively about myself, how to think very positively about situations. That book made an impression on me because at, after I read that book, I just negative thoughts just you know died in my life because I was killing them every time they just came up you know with a positive thought and right now all that comes up in my mind you know are positive thoughts and then together these four books how to win friends and influence people the seven habits of highly influ highly influential people think and grow rich and then um, think and grow rich and then the power of positive thinking those four books I'm going to see them one more time Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Think and Grow Rich, The Power of Positive Thinking, and then, um, you see, the four books together, the four books together, you know, like, they just changed my paradigm, made me a person of value, made me a person of influence, and then when you're a person of value, obviously, money is going to start at being attracted to you, and you're going to be a person that commands a good salary or a good price for your business if you're into in, in, in business. So, Reading those books is what is going to take you from zero to any amount of money that you want to make together. And it's not like you just read those books and then you just forget about the books. You read those books and then you put what you learned from those books into practice. It's helped me in my life. If you do it, I'm telling you, it's also going to help you in your life. Those books, you know, like, I, I can't believe that I would be where I am right now if I hadn't read the seven habits of highly effective people, think and grow rich, how to win friends and influence people, and the power of positive thinking. And I've tried to give you some of the things that I learned in the in the book, but you know it's not it's not possible to do that in such a, in such a short video on YouTube. So I'll encourage you find time to read those books, and your life is never going to be the same. And you'll thank me later. Now my name is Ronald Mokri. If you watch this video and you have questions arising from what I've said in this video, put your questions in the comment section of this video. I stop at the video to me and I'll do my best to respond to each and every category. But you gotta remember I do not have a WhatsApp or a Telegram channel or Gmail email address. Now this is Apostle of Prosperity Ronald Mokri saying, God bless you. But when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monster. Poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a